So I'm cooking a dish from every single country in the world in alphabetical order. Today, I'm making food from the Bahamas. This very questionable looking thing right here is conch. Get a load of this, conch, not conch. So I'm making cracked conch and rice and peas. You know, you ever put like a big seashell up to your ear, you can hear the ocean? That shell is the home to this right here. This is the, like a sea snail. You can find it in the waters around the Caribbean and the Bahamas. Kind of difficult to find if you like, you know, for your home cooking or whatever, unless you live in New York City, then uh, well, there you go. So when I like hold this in my hand, it's like really tough. And yeah, I can tell this is gonna be super chewy. So I gotta smash it up with this rolling pin and that's gonna friggin' tenderize it. And uh, that's where the cracked conch comes into play because that's why it's called cracked conch because I'm cracking it up. This rolling pin is gonna smell like fresh conch for the rest of the year. Okay. Um, I need to cut these up into two inch strips. Just slice in half. One, two. I don't think it really matters that much. These are turning into fritters. They can be whatever size they wanna be. Tenderize them all as a whole. They're still a bit tough. This is why if you have like one of those meat hammer thingamajigs. Voila. All right, so next up I need to make a tempura batter. One pound, 455 grams of flour. And I need to add a little salt, n'est-ce pas? One teaspoon. You know what, this bowl is too small. Okay, bowl change. About a teaspoon of pepper. About a teaspoon of garlic powder. Or more, whatever. Then I'm gonna break up an egg in this bowl. We're working with some fresh thyme. Thyme comes off the stem. All those little pieces of conch that are still on the knife get really embedded into the thyme, which is a really nice touch that I'm going for right now. And then a teaspoon of thyme goes in with the flour. Mix that together. Okay, call me crazy, but what if I take the conch, add it into the bowl with the egg, get it all nice and coated. Two to four cups of water into uh, this flour here. Add a small amount of water at a time to make a thick batter paste. It's gonna add two cups, because four seems a bit intense. Okay, the conch goes into the batter. I'm curious how this is gonna turn out, but here we go. And maybe I question adding them all into the bowl like this, but I've committed myself, so I gotta go searching for them in here. Finding conch in a batter bowl is like the same as a needle in a haystack. It's, I think I got them all. Here's the battered up conch. It's ready to go for now. Let me just leave this off to the side for a second, because I wanna get started on the rice and peas next. Bahamian rice and peas. And I need some bacon. Two slices of bacon. Oh, these are fatty. Dice it up, very tiny. Here's my big frying pan. Oh, heat, medium heat. You can cook that up until it's golden brown. Two little Roma tomatoes. I need to uh, slice these up. Dice up an onion. Some more fresh sprigs of thyme here. I need two teaspoons. And against the grain and off it goes. Give it a mince, mince it up. Once that bacon is golden brown, I'm gonna add in the onions, the tomato, and thyme. I'm gonna saute that all together. And so these are green pigeon peas. I needed brown pigeon peas. These are kind of in between. These are very common in the Bahamas. So that's why I have the pigeon peas. Uh, I don't know why they're called pigeon peas. Probably something to do with a bird. Oh, I don't know. From the use of its seeds as pigeon feed. So <laughs> it does have something to do with the bird. Add those pigeon peas. Pepper, salt. I need, this is embarrassing. I have to switch pans because um, I'm gonna cook the rice in this and I can't cook rice in here. So uh, tomato paste. Add in around half a cup. Add three cups of water in with everything else. There's one and a half cups of long grain rice. This is basmati. Once the water is boiling, add the rice. One and a half cups. Mix that all together, then I'm gonna cover, and then on medium high. This is cooked perfectly. This took 14 and a half minutes. Oh, that looks good. Heats off, and I just gonna keep a lid on it until I need it. I'm gonna be using some vegetable oil. 
just off to the side. Time to make some conch fritters. So the oil needs to be at 350 degree Fahrenheit. I always just poke a wooden spoon in here and if bubbles start to form around the, the handle of this, then it's ready to go. I'm just gonna add in one, just for now, just to test it. Cause I, I don't know. And then I gotta cook that till it's cold. This is just a test, I just, just to see. Slotted spoon and I just gonna flip it over. I think there's like a lot of water in the conch because the oil is like pop popping. Can you hear me? Here's my test subject. It looks pretty damn good. Mmm. <sighs> Here we go. Rotate them around until each side is golden brown. It's gonna be a few minutes per side, I'm sure of it. No more, I'm not even looking at the clock, I'm just eyeballing them. It's like a I want like a dip to go with it. Like some mayo. I don't have lime, I need some lime, uh, but what I do have is a unsweetened natural flavor essence of lime. That's what I'm gonna use. And that is disgusting. So, the mayo, some paprika. Okay, I'm gonna add just the slightest amount of this lime essence, just a little bit, just poof. Mix that together, please be the right call. Hey, a bunch of the conch critters over, critters? The fritters over here, and here we go, the peas and the rice. And that about does it, order up. You know, it tastes like it's from the ocean. It does. It tastes like clammy, whatever. That's what conch tastes like. So uh, I can see it being an acquired taste, so delicious. Uh, you kind of want to be out in the sun, like by the, the ocean or something when you're eating this, rather than in the middle of the city, but it is chewy, but it's not too chewy. It's just like, it's a quick chew. It's really good. That one was a bit too chewy. This rice dish with the pigeon peas, something I'm gonna make a lot more often around here. <sighs> I ate too much. I think I can only do conch in like small doses, so. But I liked it. It's just I ate too much of it, and now I feel. <laughs> oh, it's debilitating. Uh, <laughs> Short trip to the Bahamas. We're headed to another country next time that also starts with the letter B. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting the show. There's a link in the description if you want to also do the same. I'll catch you next time. Peace.